I mean, we literally got in here and were able to map it all out, see what's actually happening, hit another one, try it, fix it, see that it changed something, mm -hmm. you get better. I mean, and that's the fun part. Never miss the latest videos from the people who help you play better golf. Hit subscribe here. So I'm here with my cousin, uncle. Someday we'll figure that out, how we're I'm related. I'm too young to be your uncle, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See, I tell everybody I'm, you're way too old to be my cousin. So, oh well, here we are. We'll figure Keith it out. Keith Clearwater, two-time PGA Tour winner. Hey, we're practicing your game though. Uh, tell everybody what you're really working on. You're here for the Colorado Senior Open and played today and shot even par. But uh, we're practicing your game now. What are you working on? Well, I'm here working with probably the best guy in the country, honestly. Uh, and the technology you have here is unmatched. So it's so fun to get with you. I just so appreciate yeah, you no, awesome opening your here. doors to me and having me here. I just learn so much every time I'm with you. But again, we learn things that I've had going on for way too long. And I get the club out too much coming down. We've learned to get that more in. So, you know, coming down for people that know the positions, P5, P6, on down, I'm getting the club more in so I can stay more bent over, so I can, so I can stay f a little more flexed over the shot and uh, see the club exit a little lower. Sounds and uh, I tend to I tend to get it standing up, club exiting too high, and Nick here is helping me fix that. Yes, well you said that pretty well I think. Uh, here's a couple of swings, so check this one out. We've got your first swing on the left, and I I think your iron swing is still really good. You knock those out of the park. You could do whatever you want there, but the downswing with your driver is where this starts to get complicated you tend to have the swing direction just before you hit the ball moving a little too straight into the ball. And you do that in spite of the amount that you're bent backward. You can see almost no angle of your torso relative to the ground here and how straight your right arm is. So sometimes the face is closing too fast. Then couple that with the shaft moving outward a lot and you got a whole host of problems. So let's start with how you uh, normally hit and then we'll tie together this one that you just did on the right. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm kind of interested in this one. And I'll just throw out this line up by your head. We were looking at shoulder tilt earlier, but uh, just to take a look at the differences in your inclination to the ground. So let's start on the way down. First one ever. This is where you start to bend backward. Early extension is that lot. common term. I, mean, I pull off, it's six, seven, eight inches. And you hate that, because now you're, you're bending backward, which I, I've told you is appropriate, you should, but you've done it so much that you're actually bent forward with your shoulders only 18 degrees when somewhere in like the middle 20s low 30s is a better place to be so you're just really extended in your thorax and stretching yourself back off of that red line that you started with yeah this one i'm guessing doesn't look like that but let's take a look so the first step you mentioned was on the downswing having the shaft further behind you like you see here and that's awesome We'll measure right before you hit. It's moving pretty straight into the ball, slightly and out. Much, definitely more than the one on the left. Oh yeah. So the swing directions program for a draw, you can see the space between your right forearm and your left here, how your right arm is bent more. And then coming through the ball, I'm kind of skipping Look the part at my head of too, your on head the, staying on, the on that wall. That's eight inches of not pulling off. Your inclination to the grounds there. And you're hitting this hard. It's not like it's some sort of just drill we're doing. And then coming through the ball, this is about where you can stop on most people's swings and see some differences here. The butt end of the club's moving more to the, uh, more around you here. Yeah. The swing on the right. You're turned more, your shoulders are tilted more. We're measuring that with, this is what we were looking at before, 51 to the, uh, with the shoulder turn at that point versus a 40. Yeah. Both of those could still be trending towards 60, but yeah. that difference in the left picture of you not twisting the shaft and having it run away from you is accuracy off the tee. Sure. And the one that is not like your peers on the <laughs> Champions Tour is where the club comes out. Oh. Your around neck. your neck and how vertical that shaft is. So there are exactly zero people on the Champions Tour or PGA Tour playing golf like that. And this one exited below your shoulder, which is really just a nice place to have it. And your head's still on that same inclined angle that you were before. That looks like a golfer on the right. It does. And you're Watch. going fast as these aren't little tap these out there. I do a ton of the 
practice shots. I know you do of just slow swing motion. and go slow, get it right. But yeah. with you just knowing what to do and how that had to feel was different. Such a difference. I mean, it's dramatic. And this isn't a two week problem. This is a <laughs> 10 year problem. This is your so adult it's, life. I mean, yeah, when, I know. when you make those kind of changes, that's exciting. Yeah. That's exciting. What do you think? Awesome. I couldn't be happier. Well, everybody loves hearing insight from a tour player about what they're, that they actually work on their game. So if you're oh. practicing, you got any advice for someone trying to get better? Well, I'd come see a golf tech instructor <laughs> first because you can actually see. I mean, we literally got in here and we're able to map it all out see what's actually happening, hit another one, try it, fix it, see that it changed something, mm -hmm. you get better. I yeah. mean, and that's the fun part. You actually see immediate change. I can't wait to get out and play more uh, just because I'm, my yeah. pieces are there now. I can go be effective. I've worked with all the best in the world. Yeah. There's a reason I'm here, okay? I mean, I can go anywhere. I'm here because this is the best information you can possibly get. Uh, and that's not because you happen to be a cousin. <laughs> It's because I love this information and I eat it up and it's, I have a passion for learning. I'm doing some teaching now. Mm -hmm. So to get, come in here is just such a, I don't know, it's just so fun to add to my, you know, history background and right. knowledge of the game. So yeah. it's fun. Well, that's cool. So we're going to do a couple more videos with cousin, uncle, brother, grandpa Keith here. It's perfect. Right now. I want to see you actually play Olympic next. So oh, I love it. We'll do next. Thanks for watching.